So my name is Lauren Adler. I'm a land surfaces officer based in Mudgee. So with a cold, wet change earlier this month, graziers are increasingly becoming aware of those weather warnings. So when we receive these weather warnings, we need to check that susceptible stock are in appropriate paddocks. So when we're talking about susceptible stock, we're talking about ewes with lambs, just fresh off the sheared sheep, and in extreme cases, we also need to be mindful of young calves. So appropriate paddocks in these conditions would ideally be northerly facing or northeasterly aspect that protects them from those prevailing winds and increases the daylight hours. So paddocks also need to have some shelter or windbreak, particularly for those young lambs. This could be in the form of perennial pasture tufts, such as phalaris. Another good option for those sheep fresh off shears in these conditions would be to have hay available. So having a full gut will keep that rumen working, producing heat and supplying the animal with energy. So the ag team have sampled over 90 pastures and grazing crops in the region during autumn. So quality was variable and dependent on whether the main species in that pasture were tropical or temperate, and if the paddock was routinely fertilised. So the autumn quality impacts the condition of livestock coming into winter, but it could also be a tool that you use to choose appropriate quality paddocks for your winter and spring grazing. So understanding that nutritional value of the crops and the pastures that your livestock are on are crucial. So for those sheep producers lambing in spring, winter is the perfect time to get your hands on your pregnant stock. Assessing their condition score will allow you to know if your stock are in poor condition. Then you'll have time to adjust and plan for that higher quality feed for the next few months leading into lambing. That avoids growing them too quickly in their last trimester of pregnancy. And you wanna aim for a body condition score of three in mid to late pregnancy. So if you're interested in finding out what pasture quality was like in your region over autumn, the full webinar recording and the nutritional value report can be found in the link in the description.